<laughs> Have. Oh, where's plenty. yours? Where's mine? Oh, you have to oh, cover yeah. it up. Everywhere. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't do it. Did you? What did you say? I, never. 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 Oh, only one. Where's yours? I've got like, there, 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 there. Big one there. Well, we covered them up well. We covered them up pretty well. Yeah. Oh, oh. You have that ankle, you have that ankle tattoo, don't you? I do. Yeah. And it says modest on it. Yeah. <laughs> modest. I guess yeah. I kind of have, but not like. On the movie. Not movie, crazy rich kind of style. I you? mean. I went to the Vanity Fair Hollywood Oscar party, you know, this year. That was pretty crazy rich. <laughs> that was pretty yeah. cool. I hired an airport concierge to greet me. Oh, you did? That was... Yeah. Whew, well, you're I didn't hire them. Much. Warner Brothers hired them, so... Too much. Warner Brothers did it. Yeah. Cool. I, was at, I was at The Gap, and I got a, both a large t-shirt and a medium t-shirt. Wow. Navy blue, same. And you know what? I bought both, because I'm just that kind of skinny fat. I mean, he's a show-off, so mm -hmm. he likes to show off. Yep. Never. Oh, what do you get? Of course. Um, yeah. You know the weirdest thing is when you when you put it in your mouth, you instantly know it's not your toothbrush. We used to have like matching toothbrushes as kids, and I, I used to put my bro brothers take my brothers by accident, and I was just like, "What is this taste in my mouth? Not mine." Bad. <laughs> Proudly say never. No, dude, I can't. I'd rather I have a finger for that, dude. I my my finger is my backup toothbrush. Really? You would rather use a finger. Than like another toothbrush of somebody like else. Three months of what someone has been eating. Yeah, that's my point. No. Okay. I don't know about. Oh, not a billion. Yeah. Yeah. Care, care to? No, divulge. A hidden, hidden billionaire. No, I've never. I've never. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I'm open for invites. Yo, yo. Aquafina at gmail.com. <laughs> Nothing that I can repeat. Mm. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> uh, huh? I have good stories. I don't have I don't have visible talents, much less secret. I mean, the ones. only talent that those is is like is like sticking an entire ball in your mouth, right? I mean, who doesn't have that? No, you I know. know. Right? You know, can fart with your armpit. Right. Yeah. Who, yeah. That's who just, cares? That's yeah. kind yeah, of like more just existing. Yeah. Whatever. More of a church thing. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. I uh, was at. Comic Con in New York, and uh, Lucy Liu walked past with a group of people, and I absolutely lost my. Oh my I, God. Co abs I, I co did... completely lost control of myself. She walked past, and I just blurted out, I love you! at, at her back, and she turned oh, yeah. around with a kind of. Okay. I, did the, I did the same with Andy Serkis. Like, I'm a massive Andy Serkis fan, and he was at this pre Oscars party, and then we saw him at uh, the CinemaCon in Las Vegas, and I was just like, I have to say hello to you, I love you so much, and he's the kindest guy. Mine's an Andy Patinkin, that speaks for itself. Oh my gosh. Theodore Nerd. Yeah, I would you know? absolutely. <laughs> oh, completely. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, I mean, just so many. Actually, like, so many, like, like people who you you would, wouldn't would suspect, like, maybe just comedians who I loved back in the day. Like, David Tell is one of my favorite comics oh, of I all love time. David Tell. And every time I see him, like, I just, I, I just turn into mush. Yeah. yeah. That's hot. Yeah. That's really <laughs> hot. Just really it must have been a really good, fun atmosphere on set. What's your sort of happiest or funniest memory from working on this epic comedy? I think for me, definitely, it was, I mean, it's, it was the last day of set. We were filming all night shoots for the entire week. We were in Marina Bay Sands, and we had all wrapped this massive uh, wedding reception. Um, the poor B camera crew had to go off and film like a sunrise. And so they went on their own, they're like, well, oh, we're gonna miss everything. Like 10 minutes later, the entire cast and crew come and join them. And we're situated at the the, uh, the Merlion there in Singapore. And we all just had this final sort of family moment. And like we saw the sunrise. It was just so, so special. That was my favorite moment. My favorite moments, moments were definitely any scene I had with Aquafina. She and I, we have the same sense of humor. We go places. Many jokes that we made were cut out. <laughs> um, but I mean, we just had such a connection. She's a huge star. So I'm, I was really excited to work with her. I had a scene or a couple of scenes with Lisa Liu, um, an amazing actress who was in the Joy Luck Club, which was the last film 
to feature an all, uh, you know, an all Asian cast, a Hollywood film. So yeah, it was wonderful to have that continuity, and she's she's got a wonderful energy. Yes, she um, but a funny memory was that when we were filming in Langkawi at uh, the Four Seasons, we were kind of mugged by a group of monkeys. Like so, we. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was. I mean, they terrorised us. They come in, like they went into Aquafina's room and like stole all her stuff and ran off. Like we, yeah, roving, <laughs> roving gangs of monkeys. It's like the monkeys in Wizard of Oz. Yeah. The wings. So without wings. <laughs> When I first heard that he was my dad, I was like, oh my god. Like, I, you know, I and then she vomited. Up. And then after and then she picked I, and then up I the vomit. And I was like, oh my god, couldn't we have gotten someone better? Yeah, and then, yeah. Um, no. And then she vomited again. No, but we, you know, I remember meeting him. He was such a sweet guy. And then we had this first scene together. It's when Rachel comes to my house. And I couldn't, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't. It's so hard working with this guy. He's so funny. You know what I mean? His, he, and, it's, and it's magnetic and everyone was breaking. And it was very difficult to continue on with the scene with this guy. Around. It is. To, to work with Nora, who is exceptionally smart on so many levels, and you could just see that it's lovely when you have a scene partner who you don't have to kind of Expl comedically explain. explain yeah. yeah, and and then and we could just kind of read each other's minds. Yeah, because I'm like going. the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I like to. I finish your sentences. I finish your. You finish my. The only word she doesn't have in her vocabulary is humble. It's like humble. That's yeah. the only word. No, I'm extremely humble. I'm you are. Extremely, you're, now now no, she no, added you know it. What? I'm extremely humble. You're, you are. And you're I'm the, the humblest. Yeah. You're like the best I'm like the at best. being modest. I just know. It, she just knows. And when you're that modest. When you look up modest in the dictionary, yeah. you see a picture it's of It's just like you going like. I'm going like this. Like this. Wearing, no. wearing a Gucci fanny pack. <laughs> yeah. and Which is the modest of all wears. I think it is. It's really good. Yeah, I love modest mouse. She too. modest mouse. I love she loves mouse. every you like anything with the word modest yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, oh, your ad libs on set had the word modest. Modest, yeah, <laughs> I love being like, modest. Yeah. And then John Chu, the director, would be like, hey, could we do? Can we pull back the modesty? They pull back the mo and you're like, no. And I'm like, I'm no, the effing best. I'm the most modest. I'm the most modest.